Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Sephora Spring Sale. Sephora has two big sales uh, every year and they have one in the spring, which is now, and one in uh, for holiday season. So the way they do their sales is that they have three levels in their Beauty Insider, which is like the rewards program. So for Rouge, you can get 20% off and the dates that you can start shopping are April 17th through May 1st. And if you're VIP, you will get 15% off and the shopping dates are April 21st through the 29th. And Beauty Reward Insider, which is the lowest tier, you can even sign up now and get it, is 10% off. And the dates to shop for that is April 23rd through April 27th. So this is the time of year that if you have, you've had your eye on something that's a little bit expensive, this is the perfect time to pick that up uh, since they won't be having another sale like this until the holiday season. So I will be talking about the items that I've purchased in the past that I really truly love and the items that I kind of have in my cart that I have an eye on and that I'm thinking about picking up this sale. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maria Luisa and here on my channel I post videos twice a week regarding beauty and fashion. So if you like this kind of content, I hope you will decide to stay and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's have fun talking about some products. So the way I want to do this is I want to start with my skincare and then I'll go into like foundations and then eyeshadows. So kind of uh, in that order. So I'm going to start with the item that I love and I talk about all the time. This is what I use to take off my makeup. It's my cleansing balm and it's from Pharmacy Green Clean and it's uh, Melt it's makeup melt away cleansing balm. I use this every day that I wear makeup. Uh, it really mel melts off my foundation. I take it, warm it up in my hands and massage it into my skin. It turns into this milky texture, which you know is really working to take off that foundation and you know, um, even like mascara and all that kind of stuff. And then for cleansing my face, because I do a double cleanse, so then after I do the cleansing balm, then I'll go in with a cleanser. And I was using, and I really, really love it, the Youth to the People. Youth to the People, and this one is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins. Spinach, yeah. Spinach Vitamins, a superfood cleanser. What a mouthful. <laughs> and I really, really like it, but what I noticed is that I would leave my face feeling really tight. So I know that it was really stripping away all the oils and then I had a bout and that's not good when you have eczema like I do. So I recommend that if you have a little bit oilier skin, that product is totally recommended. But uh, for, but I have switched over to this fresh soy, uh, soy face cleanser. And this one is for all skin types and it's rich in amino acids and it gently cleanses and cleanses the face and eyes and it's a makeup remover. Uh, this one does not foam, which I really love, and it does not leave my, my skin feeling very dry or tight when I'm done um, cleansing. So I am gonna think I'm gonna pick up another bottle of this. So those are the two cleansers that I recommend. I've been using this from Drunk Elephant, their, their vitamin C. I love their vitamin C. They're, I use this one in the mornings and uh, it, it's 15% L-absorbic acid, which is really good uh, strength. And what I like about it is that it's in this, you know, uh, it's not in a clear bottle because what happens with vitamin C is that it's not very stable, so you don't want it to be in a clear bottle because it will oxidize as soon as it hits the light. So I love that it's in, it's in this opaque, opaque, you know, bottle so I know that the product is staying stable in here until I pour it and put it on my face. And it opens up just like that, which is nice, kind of keeps everything nice and nice and fresh inside. So, um, you know, Drunk Elephant is kind of on the spendier side, but they have really good products. So right now is the time to get this one if you're looking for a good vitamin C. And then I also love this fresh sea berry oil. And this is a moisturizing face oil. I use it after uh, I put on my moisturizer. I put a, a couple of drops and just kind of pat it into my skin. And this one has omegas three, six, seven, 
and nine has a lot of omegas and it's 100 percent pure moisture with uh, with sea buck thorn oil a little bit goes a long way as you can see where i am right now it's kind of you know i've had this for like i want to say a good six seven months then um i have been loving this from the ordinary now the ordinary is uh, pretty inexpensive but you know it's worth picking up at the sale if you really uh, if you're looking for a good uh toning solution this is glycolic acid and seven percent it's one of the great acids that's out there is the glycolic acid it's great for your skin you want to use it once a day but again, the Ordinary, ha Ordinary has really good skincare at a very affordable price. And for moisturizer, I have been using the Belief, and this one is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. There's an Aqua Balm, which is great for oily skin, but I love this uh, moisturizing balm because it's a little bit thicker, richer, and it's great for dry skin. But this one especially I love during the summer because it's, it's heavy, but it's not, uh, how can I say it? It's not too thick for the summer. It's nice and light, but it still maintains that moisture. And right now is a good time to get this. It comes in like three in like the big jumbo and this size and a smaller size. Uh, so if you wanna try the smaller size to try, you know, to give it a try and see if you like it. But this one is such a good moisturizer. And um, you know, I think the price is reasonable for how good it is. And this is like my second or third tub. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost almost done. I've been thinking about trying another moisturizer, but I'll let you guys know. But I really, really, really recommend this one. And this is a good time to buy foundations. <laughs> so if you've been looking at a foundation that is pretty expensive, then this is a, a good time to get those to pick those up. I have been looking at the Giorgio Armani and I'm going to put a picture up here of the Giorgio Armani foundation that I want to pick up and I want to do a wear test so you'll see that one coming up but I've been wanting to try because I hear really really good things about it. So, but the ones that I have and that I've used and I'm really really loving is the Forever from Dior. This one has SPF 35 and it's a 24 hour wear. Um, as I always say, I don't know who would wear their uh, foundation for 24 hours, but they promised 24 hour wear. I wore it for a wedding and I absolutely loved it. A really, really nice foundation for mature skin. The other one that is really nice for mature skin is the Lancome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this properly, but it's uh, the uh, Idol Ultra Wear. I don't know how to pronounce the top one, the top word, but I, I will put it somewhere up here on the screen. <laughs> but this one has an SPF of 15. If you're in the market for a foundation, definitely recommend that one as well. Now for concealers, I am really enjoying this uh, Path McGrath, Path, Pat McGrath <laughs> Labs concealer. Um, they just she just launched this like a few months ago and I've been using it and I really really love it. I want to get a lighter color because this one ended up being a little bit darker than I expected. But this concealer is so so nice. It's very creamy. Uh, I don't know. It goes on really well and it doesn't settle into my fine lines. So I recommend that one. And this one's a little bit more drying but I've noticed if I put some eye cream on and let it sit for a while, if I put this one on, it has very nice coverage. It's the Hourglass one. It has really, really nice coverage and it won't crease, but as long as you put some, like I said, you let some eye cream sit first. So as far as powder goes, I recommend the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. If you've been wanting to pick this one up, right now is a good time. It's a really nice powder. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's definitely a great setting powder. So like I said, if you want to pick it up, right now is the time. And then also, an oldie but goodie, everybody talks about it, the Laura Mercier powder. I had not tried it until uh, till last Christmas. I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful powder, very finely milled, makes your face look beautiful. Um, so again, definitely recommend picking this one up. For bronzer, I have the recommendation, and I think everybody does, of the Marc Jacobs. Uh, and this one is the Tantastic, uh, Tantastic Powder. 
and it's huge 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 book which I really like because usually you know the bronzer brushes are super big so it's nice to have this big pan to swirl it in um, it's it has a beautiful finish to it and I think that you know a little bit goes a long way so I haven't even come close to making it I barely made have made a dent in the imprint but I love this bronzer it's beautiful and right now is the perfect time to pick this one up if you have been eyeing it uh, for blush I am loving and I just recently picked this one up as well the uh, Kat Von D and this one is Foxglove and their everlasting blushes and this is their blush oh my gosh it's so it's really they are really really nice and pigmented I mean just a little bit goes a long way I really like this color it's uh, like I said it's Fox Glove. it's a really pretty color the packaging is gorgeous it's like a little flower so another one if you don't like Kat Von D and you don't want to buy you know any of those products uh, the this tower blush the tower 28 blush this is what it looks like it's so pretty as well it's you know um, I think cream blushes are really really nice especially during the summer if you want to get that dewy uh, lip from within look these are really this one is a new brand and I think they're they are they're vegan as well tower 28 is a new brand and they have some lip glosses and you know it looks like they're a small little starting company as far as cream blushes go i would recommend you try this one out if you're interested and for eyeshadow palettes oh my gosh there's so many so many eyeshadow palettes i am a eyeshadow palette addict uh, i am eyeshadow palette addicted that's kind of my that's my weakness <laughs> for my first eyeshadow palette and I think I have like three or four of hers and I absolutely love them uh, is the first one is the Natasha Denona now for Natasha Denona her palettes are so pigmented they're so pretty they uh, you could pop them out if you wanted to uh, the pans are huge I have to be careful because my black is kind of loose in here but her formulas are absolutely gorgeous this one is the Bebo palette and they're pretty pricey so like I said this is the perfect time to pick them up and these are all neutrals but she's got you know like uh, she's got neutral neutrals and <laughs> warm neutrals and then cool tone neutrals and so you've got a little bit of everything in this palette it, like I said it's absolutely gorgeous so this new you know these size palettes are kind of expensive and I'll put the pricing up here but she also has smaller palettes that are more inexpensive like the sunrise palette i think that one retails for 65 dollars again they're all her formulas are gorgeous i love all her palettes and also uh i've heard and i just have dabbled in it i want to get uh bigger palettes but busy art is another one that i have tried and i really love and i was thinking of picking up uh, maybe another one of these little ones see this they have these little uh, palettes these little palettes are not that expensive as they have really big palettes that are like I think 160 I believe so uh, I'll put again a picture of the the bigger palettes but these little ones are a perfect way to wet your you know get your toe wet get your toes wet uh, or I think that's the way of saying those I always say sayings backwards but it's a good way to start off if you want to try their brand out and this one has mattes and shimmers which is really nice this one this palette is super cute and they're so portable they come in these little you know uh, magnetic cases so this one is really nice um, this is the first palette I have and I, I really I'm really scared because I think I'm gonna become very addicted uh, from Pat McGrath and her palettes are so amazing I still have this one in the packaging I don't know if I'm gonna ever lose the pack you know let lose the box because I love it so much but her palettes are like so heavy look at this gold plate I mean it's like so heavy this is the rose the mothership seven divine rose oh my god this palette is beautiful I don't think this one is at Sephora but I think but they have her other palettes there and I totally recommend. The formulas are absolutely amazing. And this is what this palette looks like. And her shimmers are to die for. 
her shimmers and the formulas are kind of like glitter shimmers I mean or pressed I think they're pressed glitters and then the shimmers oh my gosh they are apps yeah this one's kind of like a little fine little glitter look at that absolutely amazing so and again her packaging is incredible you if you want to invest money in a really good palette totally recommend this one the Viseart ones or the Natasha Denona ones now if you want to go kind of medium along you know somewhere a little bit lower but still good a good product a good um, formula uh, I recommend like uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I really love this one I like the big ones that Norvina introduced but I don't know I'm a little bit uh, more um, maybe old school I really love these palettes that, sh that uh, were introduced originally by her mom um, and this one is the Carly Bible the Carly Bible palette and it's so pretty and I think it's really beautiful now for the summer it will be a really beautiful palette so if you want to spend a little not as much as those other brands but you still want to get a really good palette really nice palette I recommend uh, this one or the um, uh, Jackie Aina one this one are the, which are the kind of the two latest ones that they brought out in this kind of a, this packaging this one and the Jackie Aina palette are just so gorgeous so recommend those for uh, setting sprays if you want to be a little bougie um, I the Farsali as you can see I barely use it it's because it's so special I only use it for special events weddings but things like that because I love this thing the Farsali uh, this one has rose yeah it's the rose gold skin mist I don't know I don't I've heard that the gold really doesn't do anything for you but I love the way this smells this smells so pretty so uh, I recommend if you want to get something a little bougie to treat yourself then this first Sally one is really really nice for that yeah. for lips I love and this is what I'm wearing right now the Charlotte Tilbury lips lipsticks this one is um, which one is this one Hepburn Hepburn Hon Hepburn honey and this is what it looks like it's a gorgeous gorgeous color uh, again, that's the one I'm wearing, but it might be a little bit different than, you know, I'm wearing a gloss on top, so it might change the the tone a little bit, but this is kind of what the color is. It's beautiful between nude, peachy, gorgeous for summer. It's so comfortable. The formulas are beautiful. Charlotte Tilbury products are also on the spendier side, so right now, if you want to try any of her lipsticks, right now is the time. Um, I know her pillow talks are the ones that I'm kind of looking at or another pillow talk uh, lipstick as well but we'll see <laughs> I have a lot of things on the list so I kind of have to you know make sure I uh, dwindle it down to what I really really want <laughs> so as far as like liquid lip or lip creams I am recommend I recommend the Patrick Ta one this is absolutely gorgeous it's so creamy and silky and just you know hugs your lips if that's possible it's i put it on top of the charlotte tilbury one and i just feel just like it's so pillowy you know together um this is what it looks like right here so as you can see i combine these two that's what i'm wearing right now it's a really pretty combo so recommend that and then for lip glosses I'm really liking I tried the Dominique Cosmetics and this one is from her latest uh, latte collection and it's a really and they smell really nice they smell like cinnamon or I don't know cafe con leche something like that but they smell really nice and um, they they're not sticky they're just very silky so the Dominique uh, Cosmetics glosses are really, really pretty, along with the Fenty ones as well. But I have some of the Fenty ones already, but if you want to pick up the Fenty ones, those are so popular. They're lovely. They smell incredible. But if you want, if you already have those, because I think everybody has those, uh, but you know, try a new one. The Dominique Cosmetic one is really, really nice. And last but not least, I totally forgot, <laughs> is the mascara. I've been trying the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this one is uh, Lash Brag 
and this is what it looks like it's their brand new one the wand is really really nice it's curved but it's not humongous this one is really really nice i recommend this one and also for my bottom lashes this roller lash from benefit oh my god it's an oldie but goodie it's one of my favorites my ride or die i love it for my lower lashes i'm really not good with uh putting mascara on my lower lashes i always end up having to clean it up and i don't have to do that with this one because the brush is just really nice the way the brush is made it's kind of curved and you know it really has those individual little like uh individual little brush you know brush little little brush things i don't know what they're called <laughs> but um i'm sure when i'm editing this i'll be like maria it's this <laughs> but you know what i mean uh, really really nice again totally recommend these two one or the other all right so that's all i have oh my gosh i think that's it Whew. so that's all the makeup i've been picking up along the way i hope you uh i hope this video is helpful in making you decide or making you a little bit more confused i don't know i hope not um so that is it if you like this video give it a big thumbs up so that i know that you enjoyed this type of video and i'll do another one for the holiday sale and again, don't forget to subscribe, like, you know, ring the bell, all that kind of stuff. And But also, make sure to stay safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!